Stars episode 15 Herbivores and Carnivores Previously our hero Legosi was in the middle of a showdown with the carnivore responsible for Tem's death however he was overwhelmed Thankfully his adversary Louis from the same school of Cheriton arrived to see him as promised and the two managed to escape Legosi and Louis Reunited for New Year's, but they're not far from danger either. <laughs> well, you're finally here, and I've told Riz everything I wanted to tell him. <laughs> All that's left for me to do is finish the job. to go back to Riz. Louis Senpai, could you give me a hand? What are you, stupid? You think you can finish the job? Well, you can't even stand up on your own two feet. You're all battered up. I can see a huge bite mark on the right side of your body. It's bleeding. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure Riz was trying to kill me. It's not about winning or losing anymore. We're just pitting our ways of carnivore life against each other. I've got to see this through. I need to utilize my anger. Utilize? Why don't you ever utilize your strength? You... Still remember that. Mm. That's not all. I remember all the stuff we've been through this year. The world we live in is very complex. We try hard to persevere in something and face all kinds of conflict. But in the midst of all that, everyone is living life to the fullest. For that, there is no right or wrong. Louis Senpai, you were always there to keep me from becoming a monster. Louis, you saved me. What the hell? Don't break down. Keep your act together. <laughs> and you're going to prove that by getting killed? Such instinctual savagery is beyond me. Just calm down, and hide your true feelings. Louis! <laughs> Pitting our ways of carnivore life against each other? Ta! <laughs> Nonsense. That's it. Harden your heart. Your carnivores have great strength, but abysmal self-worth. If you want to die so badly, go ahead. <laughs> Just leave me. The weakling, out of it. <laughs> I feel hot. Why does my body feel so hot? <laughs> Just go. Luisen. <laughs> what? Rain? That's unexpected. <sighs> Whoa, it just keeps coming back. Uh, uh, it's lukewarm and sickening. Wow. <laughs> um, uh, I can stay here a bit longer if you'd like. I think this is the first time I've ever cried. And I can't stop. I wasn't allowed to cry in my environment. Where I was born to be sold to someone as a commodity. 
and then adopted and raised by my father to become strong, to survive. I committed sin after sin. And when I decided to stop, I drove my dear friend to his death. Because I'm so damn weak. <laughs> You're strong, Lugosi. Go and settle things with Riz. I don't have the right to stop you. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be. But you'll probably die if you try to fight him. Why, why are you barely able to stand? I don't want to see another dear friend of mine die. The fawn inside me is still crying in his cage. I'll break you out. You're free now. You're not weak anymore. Eat me. Look, I'll see. I'll give you the strength to fight. What? Eat my right foot. Now! Before you go out but, and fight! But I trained so I could get strong without having to eat meat! You've reached the limits of your strength, and you know it! No more pretensions! Look, I'll make you drool. Right? Now, hurry! What's that number on your foot? I thought my ideals to be unwavering. I thought this act to be taboo. It's my curse. But now, it feels like a ritual. It's enough to reawaken my friends. Break my curse, Lugosi. I swear that I won't let this be in vain. been 15 minutes. I'll give you plenty of time to talk to your friend. I knew you weren't going to throw in the towel. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get... <sighs> it's hard to speak with all the growling. <laughs> Let's get back to business. You look a lot different now, Lugosi-kun. My nose isn't working well since you bent it and all, but... But it seems that the former star actor Louis Senpai came here to help you, right? <laughs> You're desperate, aren't you? You actually aid him when he tried to help you! You, me... The carnivores, we are all the same. We are monsters who are easily swayed by the desire to eat meat. I'm sure Louis Senpai in heaven would agree with me. He's alive. Louis Senpai is here as we speak. And... He's inside me! Lugosi! Louis Senpai. Tim. Louis Senpai, I can feel your flesh spreading throughout my body. It's like a forbidden magic. I'm going to use it all tonight. Philosophy. 
You chose to become a monster, Riz. When you ate Tem. What do you think of Tem now? Or is his taste the only thing you remember about him? I wanted him to be my best friend. Even now, it's the only thought that occupies my mind. It's the only thing. My feelings for him are much stronger than your feelings for Louis Senpai. Because he never felt the same for me. Both beasts who have eaten flesh. We fight on, thinking only of our prey. If there is a god, then he must be laughing at our fight. I... I... Hey, Lugosi. Are you trying to reduce me to a flashback character? I'm alive, you dumb dog. <laughs> Louis... Senpai. The bond of a carnivore and a herbivore. By eating and being eaten, they have made their bond stronger than ever. It's what I always wanted. <laughs> Did I need to match their desperation to have it for myself? Tem, you put your life in danger by spending time with me. I'm not afraid of you. And yet, you weren't afraid to show me your smile. I'm just so glad to be your friend. If I had thanked you for being with me while you were still alive... Would that have made things different? Come on. Got it! And I thought these horns were only good for attracting females. Gotta hurry. Bell. How long was it ringing? Hey, Riz. Riz. It's the new year now. <gasps> it might not be the best time to say it, but... Happy New Year. I always hated his airheaded tendencies. Even after he ate my foot. Part of him still hasn't changed. <laughs> ah, you win, Legosi. Ah, my heart's been broken for the past year, but now I feel like I can actually breathe again. I sugarcoated my memory of Tim, and I looked at the herbivores around me like they were food, so I could protect myself from getting hurt. I was wrong about everything, and I was found out by a very strange wolf. He ate flesh, and yet his eyes looked beautiful. I must have looked nothing like him when I ate him. My face was covered in blood, just as his is right now. Yet, the difference is clear. You have established a genuine carnivore herbivore friendship. Uh, okay, what's now? Uh, uh, Louis Senpai! <laughs> Let's get to the hospital. The duel is over. You sure didn't hold back eating my foot. 
Did you think your dirty t-shirt was enough to close my wound? Oh... <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Riz. What would Louis the Red Deer say at a time like this? Louis Senpai. I... Uh, High-handed words. Admonishing words. Impressionable words. I should have plenty of hurtful things to say to him. He's the damn killer. I've lost my foot now. So I'm sure anything I say will be effective some way or another. What do I say? It, 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 you! There he is! Freeze! Where the police? Put your hands in the air! Orange Breed Squad, get the bear first! No. I won't be disingenuous to the carnivores anymore. Riz, wait! I won't condone what you did, but I'm a terrible upperclassman, and I'm sorry I never tried to notice how lonely you were. Lu... Louis senpai I'm sure that the carnivores I've met will be a constant part of my life. Stand up! Do not resist! Well, what's going on here? Did I call the police at a bad time? You two! Put your hands up in the air! <laughs> now! Are you taking them hostage? Is eating his foot not good enough for you? Oh. Do you hear me, Wolf? Juvenile predation is a crime, damn it! Put your hands up! Now! That's a tough call. My hands are occupied at the moment. <laughs> Don't lick your face. You're making yourself look bad. Hmm? Why are you putting your hand in the air? Go. I'd do it in your stead. If you let me go, I would fall flat on the ground. Yeah, but you're the victim. So you would just confuse the officers. But unless we show them that we're friends, they will unquestionably send you to prison. What are they talking about? Uh-huh. Don't know. And besides, you're the real victim. I basically forced you to eat my foot. I don't mind being your assailant. Allow me to pay you my compliments. Oh. Thanks for the foot, Louis Senpai. I'm glad that you were the first and last animal I ate. Our relationship will always be that of a herbivore and a carnivore. And now, I'm able to see that as a good thing. <sighs> well, I'm fine with that, since we are friends now. Of course. <laughs> Wipe your face and smile. You look like a criminal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> His fangs are what finally broke my curse. Oh. A carnivore's fangs are what cursed me, with the pain of being a weak prey. And only by those fangs could my curse have been broken. Right, Lugosi? <laughs> this is bad! He's lost too much blood! Huh? Get a stretcher! Now! Call the hospital and tell him to get a blood transfusion ready! And tell him that he's a minor and a servant from Order Arteodactyla! Hey. Huh? We're going to have a long talk back at the station. Yes, sir. Don't worry. I know that there's more to this than meets the eye. Lugosi! Hmm? I'll be seeing you at school. That's a promise! Lugosi. <laughs> responded to my childish outburst. With a silent, immature nod. パパ
This was a story and sound production from the team at Dark Speed Studios. If you have enjoyed this episode, please let us know in the comments on what future B Stars chapters you'd like to see covered as a motion comic. On behalf of everyone at Dark Speed Studios, thank you for watching. And finally, to Paru Itakagi and your manga team. Domo, arigato gozaimasu. Akimashite, omedeto gozaimasu.